<coughs> Hi everybody, welcome back to the Dr. Sia Sh channel. Channel, <laughs> channel. <laughs> In this video here today, we're gonna talk about what is guilt. Let's get started. Alright, so in a previous video uh, I talked about what is shame. In this video here I'm going to talk about what is guilt. People often get them confused so I just thought I'd just quickly make some videos where you can learn about the difference. So in this video we're going to be talking about guilt. Alright, so what is guilt? Guilt is that feeling you have. It's a visceral feeling. It's a really like emotional feeling, an upheaving feeling that starts sort of lower down, uh, down just below your gut and starts coming up and wells up and overwhelms you with this, this sense of pain almost, like something that really hurts, particularly around this area as it heaves up through you. Looks like sadness because you'll have tears and you'll have the <gasps> heaving thing going on. So that's the guilt feeling feeling. It's a very uncomfortable feeling. It's a very nasty feeling. It's a very terrible feeling that we get within us. And of course it's meant to be because it's meant to be that way because it's meant to get us to not do the things that hurt other people. Therein lies the key of guilt. Guilt is this extremely intense upheaval feeling that we get when we hurt other people. When we do something that significantly hurts another person emotionally or hurts them physically, whether we meant to do that thing or did not mean to do that thing, guilt is the feeling we get. And the idea of guilt is that we then have this intensely terrible feeling so that we don't do that thing again and so that we help the person in front of us understand that we don't want to do that thing, that we don't intend on doing that thing, and that we did that thing because of whatever inaccuracies or fallacies or flaws that we have within ourselves, and that we intend on doing our best, and or perhaps that that is our best, and that's just as good as we get, and we understand that that hurts the person, and that's a terrible thing. But the key bit here is guilt is a reparative emotion. Guilt is a feeling that aims to come up to make sure that you don't hurt again and that you repair any future hurts. So guilt is a two-person process. Guilt is not a one-person process, it's a two-person process. Guilt is the feeling that's meant to get you to feel bad about doing something and connect back to the person that you've hurt so that you can soothe them and somehow repair or somehow move forward somehow create something better than whatever was there already. So that's the function of guilt and that's the importance of guilt. And that's why when people do not have guilt, i.e. for example, when people uh, are, uh, have something called psychopathy or antisocial personality disorder, they do not tend to have guilt and they tend to hurt a lot of, lot of people around them. And then a lot of people would want to stay away from people like that because, of course, they would hurt you and they would feel nothing about it. So, if you've ever been confused about whether what you are feeling is guilt or not, just think about, is it a two-person process that you are experiencing? Something, this extreme upheaval of emotions that comes up that focuses you on the person in front of you that you have hurt and on ways that you can connect back to that person again, explain what you've done, explain why you would never want to do that again, or why it's just something that you can't do anything about, to repair the relationship, to move it forward into something that was different to what it was before. And that is really the guilting process. Now, a lot of people confuse that with, say, for example, anxiety, teariness because of anxiety, or teariness uh, because of uh, something else. Again, the way that you can tell the difference is, if you are feeling guilt, you're not likely to be hiding yourself off into a room and waiting for the person who you've hurt to come to you. That's not what the guilt process is about. As a child, maybe, but as an adult, absolutely not. So if you're feeling guilt and you're experiencing guilt, remember that that is 
an adaptive evolutionary emotion that is there to help you connect back with your partner. You want that feeling and I know it's a very terrible feeling and I know it's a horrible feeling, but it has a function and its function is to improve your relationships, to have you have thriving, loving, nurturing relationships with people around you. So if you're isolated, alone, have nobody in your life and you're living with this thing that you call guilt, it's not guilt, it's something else. Now, if you want to know more about guilt and you want to know more about shame, make sure you check out my next video because in my next video, I'll be talking about guilt versus shame or shame versus guilt. A lot of people get them confused. So here, we're going to unconfuse that in about five minutes or so. So let's get, oh, so let's get started. <laughs> so this is the end of this video. I got so excited about the next video. I'm like, let's get started on that. No, let's not get started on that. Finish this video up, jump on to the next one that I'm going to make uh, right after I make this one. I'll see you there.